Hare Krishna. Those who don't hang together, hang alone. The word hang has two meanings. Hang together means to stay together. We have the we have Google Hangout, where when people hang together means people come together and discuss and basically uh, uh, communicate and commune with each other. So those who don't hang together, this is referring to in the spiritual path. We can say that this refers to devotees coming together and associating with each other. If we don't hang together then we will hang alone. Here the word hang refers to the other meaning of hang that is to be hung, to be punished to death by hanging from a rope. Association is a cardinal principle of bhakti and even the summit of bhakti where Krishna has talked about those people who have accepted, who have realized, uh, realized that Krishna is the Supreme Person, Buddha Bhava Samanvitaha, those who are enlightened and those who are emotionally enriched, those people who are devoted to Krishna, even they delight in reciprocation of affection with each other, reciprocation of Krishna-centered affection. So in 10.9 in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Machittaha Madgataha Pranaha Bodhayantaha Parasparam Kathayanta Shyamam Nityam Tushyanti Charamanti Cha Krishna says, Machittaha Madgataha Pranaha. First he talks about the caliber of these devotees. They are, their consciousness is fixed on Krishna, their life is devoted to Krishna. And, Bodhayantaha Parasparam, they discuss with each other, they enlighten each other. Kathayanta Shyamam Nityam, constantly they relish my glory. Tushyanti Cha Ramanti Cha. Tushyanti Cha, they are very satisfied, very very satisfied in this. Ramanticha, they delight in it. What? In discussing Krishna's glory. So association is not just physical proximity, it is emotional affinity towards Krishna and those who are devoted to Krishna. So for if we need such association. Without such association, if we don't hang together in the association of devotees, then we'll hang separately. Because we are never alone. When we say we are alone, that means we are with our mind. And our mind in the conditioned stage is frequently our worst enemy. Because the mind is our enemy, it often entraps us. It makes us do self-destructive things. And in doing these self-destructive things, we injure ourselves, we maim ourselves. We can actually destroy ourselves by indulging in a sinful self-destructive activities. So, <clears throat> we as devotees now, uh, we may think that advanced devotees, oh, they are Krishna-centered and they can delight in Krishna. But I am a sadhaka and I have my conditionings, others have their conditionings. So, how can I, I, I find uh, it very difficult to be in the association of devotees. We need to recognize that, yes, we are all conditioned. If we keep looking for perfection, we will never find perfection. We will, uh, there is no one perfect in this world and we ourselves are also not perfect. So, if we reject others as perfect and others reject us as perfect, uh, if we reject others as imperfect and others reject us as imperfect, then we will never get any association. So, we need, uh, of course, that doesn't mean that we have to necessarily stick with incompatible people, but uh, we can sh and should look for like-minded devotee association. But at the same time, we need association. And even like-minded association is not alike. There'll, even among like-minded devotees, there will be differences. And we need to tolerate and transcend those differences. And knowing that this is what is vital for our spiritual sustenance. So when illusion tempts and distracts and deludes us, at that time, devotee association protects us. Devotees guide us and tell us, oh, you should not be doing this, you should be doing this. And further, that is that is the negative side of the protection. But on the positive side of inspiration, when we associate devotees and see how they are appreciating and relishing Krishna Bhakti, how they are, from their perspective, understanding Krishna's glories and appreciating and relishing them, then that inspires us, that enhances our appreciation for Krishna, that increases our taste for Krishna. And in that way, we can move onwards in our journey towards Krishna. So this is how 
association not only protects us when we hang together we just don't hang together we actually march together towards krishna thank you hare krishna